Hey guys, today I want to answer a question that I commonly get about um, our building method. A lot of people ask me, why do we build using the earth blocks? Uh, so let's talk about that when I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, welcome. You just discovered the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where it's all about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life, and empowering others. Free. So today, I just want to uh, talk uh, briefly about and uh, you know our building method sometimes you know people want to know why we build uh, with these earth blocks and why aren't we using other forms and you know they want to tell us about other uh, you know sustainable forms of building or alternative methods and uh, trust me um, we know uh, about every popular building method out there, uh, I, I assure you, and uh, we have uh, investigated <laughs> uh, every popular building method. And uh, um, I mean, I had built with, um, when I built my home in the mountains, I used the earth bags, as many of you know. And I actually, when I started that project, I was first um, looking at uh, using uh, you know, using the, the, the tires, um, and many of you know about the um, earth ships, right? So, you know, I first look, looked at building an earth ship where you use the tires and you put, um, you know, the dirt mixture in, in the tires and you pound them down. But I opted to use the earth bag. Um, and Brandon has built with the earth bag and he has built with stone. Um, so, you know, we have explored the, you know, some people are, are doing the ram, the earth now. Um, we explored that as well. Um, and, you know, of course, using the uh, concrete blocks or the sand creek, um, you know, we, we built with that, uh, which is the, you know, the method that most people here use, which is the, uh, um, I guess, the, the normal method. But we chose to go with the earth blocks on this building, uh, on these buildings. And I'll tell you why we chose the earth block. Because, of, you know, some people, you know, who are familiar with building with mud, you know why people build with with mud um, not simply you know I mean it's economical um, but not only that if you ever go into a mud building you know it's much cooler right the building is much cooler than uh, a building that's built with the concrete blocks or the sand creek blocks right because the sand creek it uh, draws heat in and the, you know it gets very hot so, um, but the mud buildings, you know, they have that, that mass called thermal, uh, thermal mass that allows the building to remain cool. So that's the property you get when you build with uh, dirt, you know, you, you primarily you build with dirt and, um, and that was the advantage of building with um, the earth bags, right? You had a much cooler house. And also, you, you know, you had a, you know, quiet house and, uh, and, you know, those are some of the properties of, of dirt that you get, which is that thermal mass. And so, but the thing is, is that um, if you go up north, you know, um, in North Ghana, where they build these nice, homes, the tribes build, you know, these nice mud homes. Um, and, you know, and I have people saying that they're going to build them one. 
Um, the problem with that, those homes, though, is that they they require a lot of maintenance. They're not gonna just, you know, you can't just build them and leave them. They require maintenance. I had a friend and and she said that, you know, she wanted to build one like they build them and um, she didn't want to um, do like we, you know, like we use uh, plaster over our blocks, right? We don't just use the blocks by themselves. We put plaster. So she said that she didn't want to put the plaster over because it would be, uh, cause them to be less uh, uh, genuine, you know, like authentic when you uh, put the plaster over them because the plaster has some concrete in it. So she felt that that would be less authentic than how they do it in the North where they finish it off with like uh, lime and, um, you know, and she said that would be much cooler. And, um, and I told her, you know, the problem with that is that uh, are you going to be able to maintain that, right? Because if you do it like that, you, you have to come back and you have to continue to maintain it, right? So we're building houses that we uh, have to guarantee, we're guaranteeing for like, you know, 10 years, you know, and uh, we have these uh, guarantees and, you know, we want the homes, you know, we expect these homes are going to last for a lifetime. So, you know, 100 year homes. So we can't just say, okay, we're going to uh, use earth blocks or use, you know, build them like they build with these mud homes and then put coat it with a little lime or something like that. You know, they have to be durable. Um, so, you know, um, a lot of people ask us, could we build their home using the earth blocks like I did my original home? And, and I told them, no, we're not doing that because one, it costs more money to build like that. You know, people have a tendency, they be watching all of this stuff on the internet and YouTube or whatever, but they don't understand uh, the, the pricing of this stuff. Like, you know, they hear, oh, it's cheaper to, isn't it cheaper to build with uh, these earth bags? No, it's not cheaper. It's more expensive to build unless you're going to build it yourself, right? If you're going to build it yourself, yeah, anything is cheap, right? Because you put it in the labor. But if you're going to go out there and hire somebody to build you an earth bag home, uh, trust me, they're going to charge you more Right, you have to carry those big heavy uh, bags and put them on top of each other. You know, you go some 10, 12 feet up and you know, you think that's gonna be more or less expensive. And then you have walls that aren't straight. They, they, they're not plumb, they kind of curve. So all of your contractors are gonna charge you more money, right? If I'm a, if I'm a tiler, um, I'm gonna charge you more. If I'm a carpenter, I'm gonna charge you more because your walls are not plumb. I mean, they're not straight up and down, so I'm going to charge you more to finish it. So uh, you end up paying more money when you build an earth bag. It takes longer because, you know, it doesn't go quickly. Um, so, yeah, so we decided not to use uh, the earth bag. It was fine for my one house, but, right? Yeah, I, would, I didn't mind paying more, but when you're building in mass like we're doing, we can't afford that kind of time and those type of expenses. So we chose, uh, we believe it's, uh, you know, uh, the next best thing, uh, something that's just as good, which is the earth block. It's a block, it, you know, um, we've had like 50,000 blocks delivered to, to the site uh, to build the first uh, group of homes with. And, you know, the thing about the blocks is that they are um, like Legos, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to put mortar between the blocks. You lay them on top of each other. You just put them on top of each other like Legos. You have straight walls, and then you plaster over them. And yes, we pl you, you don't have to plaster over them, but we plaster over them because we want them to last longer, right? Um, yeah, these uh, uh, blocks, uh, you plaster over them because you want them to last longer and um, that's what we do so that you still have the the thermal mass properties where the, the block 
stays cool uh, in hot weather. So you have a, a cooler house. So that's uh, the method that we've chosen. And you know, some people choose, have chosen to do uh, the rammed earth building. You know, I've seen some of the companies doing rammed earth here. And nothing wrong with that. You know, you have to uh, pick what is more suitable for you in your building process, but there's no one magical bullet, right? Um, it's like, hey, you choose what you believe is the best method for you. And we believe that uh, the earth blocks are the best method for us. And that is the uh, solution that we have chosen to go with. So at any rate, um, you know, in terms of pricing, you know, people ask, well, you know, how does it compare in pricing with uh, like the standard blocks they use here, which are the sandcrete. And you know, I mean, it's uh, at the end of the day, you know, it, it might be, it might seem, it might seem um, kind of, I guess, a little, little cheaper, but uh, at the end of the day, once you calculate the price, right, it, it, you, you might end up paying more. You might pay, a, you know, less money for the actual block, but the um, there's other things you have to consider, right? Um, you can get the, you, you usually get those sandcrete blocks much closer to your, your site, so you would have a lower transportation charge if you got this you went you went with the standard blocks the um then you know um so it's just um you calculate all the variables and um once you calculate all the variables uh you know it might be comparable you know it might be comparable so um but yeah so you just can't look at it on the surface and say well this block is more or less you know more than this block so these blocks are cheaper. No, you got other costs that come along, right? So um, with the the regular blocks, you know, you you have to use mortar. You, you know, like with our blocks, we don't have to use mortar. But those regular blocks, eh, you know, you got to use mortar with those regular blocks. So you know, you got that cost. Um, and you know, we don't use mortar. You know, um, we plaster over them, but we don't use mortar between the blocks. So. At any rate, that's just a quick video on, you know, our building method and why we chose to go with the earth blocks. You know, we, we feel it's a sustainable method that, that works for us. All right, well, if you like what we're talking about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, give me your feedback. And uh, you can also uh, hit our website, www.migratingcoachacrossing.com. And go ahead and take advantage of the half price home promo. Guys, we got five models out there. And, you know, well, one of them is sold out, but we still got four more uh, models that you can choose from. And you can buy any of those for 50% discount if you pay up front and you wait three years to take delivery. And, um, you know, uh, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And as always, oorah, I will not be free.